Kristen here and I'm wishing all of you guys a very happy Wednesday. Hopefully your Wednesday is a lot cooler than it is here. I don't know what the temperature is outside right now, but inside my gecko tanks are saying 77.7 degrees. Yes, that is a lucky number, actually. Phoenix, would you like to play the New York Lotto? Anyway, today I want to talk to you guys about something a little bit different. I'm going to give you guys like another peek into my world. I know a couple weeks ago, maybe like a month now, I talked to you guys about my ear surgery and I kind of like showing you guys a little bit more of me. Maybe I want to show you guys things that I just don't talk about very often or maybe something that's a little bit weird or a little bit non-traditional. So today I'm going to talk about something that I have been collecting. Now if you've known me for like four seconds you know I love collecting things. I've done videos way back in 2016 that are very cringy and poorly edited, I'm sorry. I did a video about my sunglass collection, which is now non-existent. I think I only have like four pairs of sunglasses. And I did another video of my candle collection, which is also non-existent because I had like 72 candles. So what I actually started doing was I started burning them at my previous job because I was allowed to and I got through all of them and now I think I have like five or ten candles left. But I've also been collecting crazy contact lenses. I did like a music video style video around Halloween last year and I'll link all these videos on the screen here. You just little click that eye. I don't know if it's that corner or that corner. I feel like I do that every time. But anyway, today I'm going to talk to you guys about something else I've been collecting for a long time but it only started becoming a collection lately because it has just taken off, and that is vinyl records. So this is my stack of vinyl records so far. I am still collecting, and they're very random. I'm going to show you guys each of them. I'd like to try to show you in order of which I purchased them, but it's a little bit difficult because some are kind of on the older side and I don't remember what order I ordered them in. So anyway, let's start this madness. Big ass stack here. So my very first record that I purchased was Lights Siberia. This is her second album. When she was releasing it, she had a box set so you can buy the CD, a limited edition CD. You could buy the vinyl record. It came with some other things. I know it had a lyric sheet. So this was my very first vinyl that I've ever purchased. And I have thumbtack holes like in the corner and there's one in the back here because I hung these on my wall. And if you saw my wall in maybe my week in my shoes video or 24 hours in my life video or whatever, any video where you see the walls of my bedroom, you would see my records hanging up. And this was one of them. I love lights. I've been a huge fan of her for very long. Actually, it's been 10 years. I discovered her in 2009 when she came out with her first album. So it's been 10 years. Wow. The next record I purchased is the My Chemical Romance Black Parade. I can't open this. Oh, my stupid ass taped it. Okay. All right. It's the My Chemical Romance Black Parade Special Edition. I got this. I stayed for a few days in either Vermont or Massachusetts. I don't quite remember, but I got this at a comic book shop and the records are actually like a metallic gray and it's really cool and I did tape, tape it closed because I needed to hang it on my wall with thumbtacks. I know some of you guys are probably cringing being that I, you know, stabbed holes and taped the box of my albums and maybe I'll regret that in my future but now it's not really a thing. Okay, they were all facing the other direction and now I'm just screwing it all up. Number three is Light's Little Machines. When she came out with this album in 2014, she did another release where you got the box, which is why this is so massive. In the box, you get the actual record itself. It's orange. The box also came with the lyric insert, a stencil with the little machine symbol. I stenciled it on a piece of 
eight and a half by 11 paper just because that's also why it's black because I use spray paint. Came with a few photographs. I did try to hang these in my room and it felt a little bit weird that I was just hanging pictures of lights all over the place. And yeah, that's record number three. Continuing in the order of which I purchased them, record number four is My Chemical Romance Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. I'm actually not super in love with this album. They do have some pretty rad songs, but this one is not my favorite. Black Parade is definitely my favorite. You, of course, get the lyric insert. I don't know, I'm opening some of them, but not all of them. I don't quite remember where I bought this. I think it was another comic book shop, but I was, oh no, I lied. I remember where I bought this. I was in Barnes & Noble in their music section, and I saw this, and I was like, I have to have this. So I bought it, no regrets. I'd like to collect the rest of MCR's albums. I just haven't gotten there yet. Next one is Light's Midnight Machines. Her acoustic partner to Little Machines about this when it came out. I think it was 2015 or 2016 this came out. I don't quite remember. And then two years ago in 2017, Lights came out with her Skin and Earth album. Of course, I bought the vinyl in this one. She no longer does the box set of CD and vinyl, so I decided to go for the vinyl. I did get the CD separately, and also, of course, there is Spotify. And then, in summer of last year, I fell in love with a band called The Gorillas. so my sister bought me this bad boy for Christmas last year. It's Gorillas Demon Days! My favorite song... The record was just peeking its way out. No, you must stay in there. My favorite song on this record is definitely Dare. It is so fun, so catchy, and especially when it's nine in the morning and you're walking up to work and you're just sitting there like bopping along to the song. It's a good way to start your morning. So I've been wanting to complete my Lights vinyl collection because I am definitely missing some, so I found this bad boy on eBay for $50, which is way more than I wanted to spend, but I was like, you know what, I really want this. So this is Lights' Siberia Acoustic, which was the partner to Siberia, released in 2013. Then one day I was scrolling on Instagram, and there's this Instagram page called Bitchin' Vinyl, and I started following them because they have a whole bunch of vinyl records that they show off, and I think it's cool because I've been upset obsessed with vinyl records, obviously, lately. So they posted that Urban Outfitters has started selling certain vinyl records, especially this one. This is Hilary Duff's first album, Metamorphosis. This brings back the most intense memories ever. Released all the way back in 2003. I was 11 and I loved this album so, so much. Party Up was definitely my favorite song. I used to listen to that over and over and over again in my room, just kind of hanging out jamming with my hairbrush microphone. Everyone has done it, I'm sure. So, of course, I had to get my hands on this. I believe this is the only Hilary Duff album that was released on vinyl, but I would love to get the rest. Believe me, I am on the hunt. After purchasing Metamorphosis, my hunger for vinyl records went crazy. So then I started scouring Amazon like a psychopath, and I found this. <laughs> This is the vinyl record to Sonic Adventure 1. It is the official vinyl for the game. I went crazy when I found out that this was an actual product and I had to have it. I ordered it on Amazon along with a handful of other products and I got it sent to my parents' house. I didn't get it for quite some time and I was really upset and I was so excited to get this. I just, I'm a super nerd and I love Sonic games so much and I also want to get the rest of my favorite games in vinyl form because I think that is just so freaking cool. So yes, Sonic Adventure 1, the vinyl, in my hand. I'm a dork. <laughs> Second to last vinyl is Lights' latest release which came out about a month ago or two months ago. My concept of time is out the window, but this is Lights' Skin and Earth acoustic vinyl record which is very reflective and I'm trying hard not to. This was the only album which I was unable to see her live because I started a new job this year and I did not have any paid time off and I didn't feel like calling out to go to a concert because I felt that would be bad. It's not like I haven't done it before but I just feel like it would be bad. So yes this is the vinyl for it. I did not get the CD I got the vinyl because again 
Spotify. And the last vinyl that I purchased is another dorky one. It's Sonic Adventure 2! Did you see this coming? You should've. Sonic Adventure 2 is actually my all-time favorite game. I can beat the entire game in under 24 hours, probably like four hours actually. And I love it so much. I love the music. It brings back crazy memories. I got the game for my 12th birthday along with my GameCube and I just, you hear cityscape and you wanna punch yourself in the face, but you also can't help but to take in those memories. So this was the latest addition to my collection. This was purchased along with Sonic Adventure 1, but this one took forever to come in Amazon, and I don't have Amazon Prime. This also wasn't a Prime item, but yes, I would like to collect the rest of the Sonic games. Like, I would love a Shadow the Hedgehog vinyl. That would be amazing. I also have a handful of other vinyls saved in my Amazon wish list, like Disturb Indestructible, Fallout Boy, Jimmy World Lead American. That's my favorite Jimmy World album. If you guys know of places that I can get vinyls, let me know. Lately I've been just finding them on Amazon and purchasing them that way. I do have a record player but it is at my parents house and it's not like a super high quality one. It was one I got for Christmas one year that was in Target. It's a record player and it also plays CDs. It can connect to the radio. You can plug in an audio jack to play your iPod or your phone. Um, it's not Bluetooth. So, um, I have that, and yeah, it's not like super high quality or like, oh, crazy studio quality, but you know, I have played my records before, and on Christmas when I got Demon Days, I played Demon Days in my bedroom, and I was just like, ah, you know, because I'm a weirdo. I'm not done collecting. I'm going to just keep going, and you know, one day I'm going to have this big-ass bookcase of vinyl records, kind of like my mom has, and they're going to collect dust, and I'm going to be like, well, that was nice, because you know, that's how collections go. You collect when you're obsessed with them and then after the obsession has passed, it kind of just chills there, like my 72 candles. But anyway, I am on fire. I'm so warm right now. I want to shut off this ring light and just have the fan face me because I am super hot, super on fire. So if you like this video or any of my other videos, give them a thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. It's really that simple. And if you liked it, I'll make more of those kind of videos! If you want, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel, it's youtube.com slash naturallyvenomous. I don't even know why I bother with the whole youtube.com slash naturallyvenomous, you just click subscribe right under this video. I think it's over here. Or over here. I actually, I don't know, I'm trying to picture it in my head, I think it's over here. Like it. <laughs> if you want, you can also find me on Instagram, I'm there at naturallyvenomous. But anyway, this is me, Kristen. And I hope I'll be seeing all of you guys in the future, next week. I got nothing! So, until next week, see you guys later. How obnoxious can I be?